So um, Jenny has got the mic, and uh, if you've got questions, questions, please. I mean, let's let's leave discussions today. The questions, somebody, yes. Then you can specify which speaker you want to answer your question. For me, I guess we'll do it. You see, you are talking about the need for change. I think all of us here we agree. But if you look around, we are all 100% normal things, you know. But the uh, fixed deposit, as I see of it, as far as AMLO is concerned, is the Malay electorate. The people of the Malay is in the Malay heartland. You know, this is where the, the Kuangan and the uh, special privileges thing comes in, you see. You know, these people do not have much access to electronic media and things like that. So these are the people that you should be actually uh, targeting. You know. How are you doing, uh, what are you doing about, I mean, uh, reaching out to them? Thank you. So you can get the name, please. Now. Now. <laughs> Anybody else? Love, can I ask you, um, if, if I were to organize another one like this next Saturday, can you bring your many friends? It's another problem. Mm -hmm. Because we are so polarized, our friends tend to be you know, those of the same race as we are. This will be part of the system that we are. Well, I'd like to uh, answer that <coughs> with a personal experience. Now, I'm from Penang. Um, for some reason or other, only Chinese girls are affected to me. <laughs> Personal experience. <laughs> now, um, when I was uh, my first girlfriend, well, my second girlfriend, was Chinese. <laughs> I liked her very much. Uh, when she went to UK to do her accountancy, I followed her to do my second degree law. I discovered that the mother does not like me at all. <clears throat> now, when I was in England, I wrote a letter to the father to say, look, don't look at me as a Chinese. I mean, don't look at me as a Malay. Look at me as a person very much in love with the daughter. And furthermore, I'm going to be a lawyer. I should be all right. I should be able to take care of the daughter. Now, I used to spend money from UK calling the house in, in, in Kuala Lumpur. Now, the mother will pass the phone around to everybody. And the mother told me, actually, I will let you marry my daughter if you can sit at the table and eat pork with me. I must confess. Now later what happened was the mother went to the UK, told the doctor that look, don't worry, uh, Jabba, my name is Jabba, Jabba is a nice guy, you come back uh, to Kuala Lumpur first, and then uh, we'll see what we can do. Now of course when the doctor came back, uh, she's the eldest, brainwashed, blah, 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 and she forgot about me. I must confess, I was very angry. I said that, wow, I'm from Penang. Penang, yeah? Banyak Chinese lang. And I had a lot of Chinese friends. I'm from a Malay kampong, 100% Malayu kampong. But I had a lot of Malay friends, I mean a lot of Chinese friends. I said, wow, oh, these Chinese are very pak I said, no, I try to be very nice to them and look. And this is what they do to me. Six months later, God gave me a tight slap, real tight slap. Piano. I met a Chinese girl who was introduced to me by the Chinese mother. Of course, a Chinese mother. The mother said, this is my daughter, please take care of her. Uh, and she was like 10 years younger than me. I was 30, she was 20. <clears throat> I met UK to do my studies. The father loved me. Now, this Chinese girl, the mother loved me. The father loved me. The papa, the grandmother loved me. Even the dog loves me. <laughs> God, please God, I'm so sorry that I said Chinese were bad just because of one woman who could not look beyond her skin, who believed, no, no, dis no disrespect to you sir, who believed that we are all our rights. Where did these people come from? And finally, uh, for some reason we, we couldn't work out, the last person I married was also Chinese, the first wife, uh, <laughs> the girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> That's my brother-in-law, eh? Heng Kian An. <clears throat> now, let me tell you this. Their family broke a myth in my head. You ask any Malayu, Malay, Sojay, Chinese are materialistic, am I right? 
Chinese ah, two ways saja. Reality Malaysian uh, stereotyping. China, even the lizard, they'll catch and eat. <laughs> All right, that's Ch Chinese thinking. When I met his sister, I was shocked. Before eating, she raised the plate. And she put on the plate. I said, hey, Chinese never do this. Chinese will just wipe the food. Then I realized that they are a certain religion. They are 100% vegetarian. They say, wow, the Chinese are not eating meat. Eh? <laughs> so what I'm saying, sir, is this. We come to earth alone. My joke with people is, I am actually Chinese. Yeah. I'm Chinese. But when God was making me, God was also making chocolate fudge. He <laughs> took <laughs> me up, he dried me, plum, that's <laughs> That's the only thing I can share with you. We walk the journey alone. Hang the world. Polarize, cut up, polarize. But he said, today, your job should be, sir, to go look for two million friends and say, hey, I love you, brother. Thank you. It's, it's not just my job. So when you ask me, what, 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 uh, how do you all plan to? This is what I mean, you see. Because if you keep having target groups like this, you are actually not reaching out to those other people there in the internet. Well, I don't know. I don't me. I don't know. What I'm trying to say is, the very fact that you have this meeting here, is to more or less uh, explain or what I or to, uh, sort of explain to reach out to us here, right? What I mean to say you should be doing that with the Malays, more with the Malays, because they are 70% and this is where our is targeting with the Katwana, with the, uh, the uh, special position, you see? That will come off, because here, when you are here, I'm here, we will be working for change. I think, what, well, Melody, you want to answer that? Yeah, I just want to share something. Now, as I have spoken to quite a few people who have told me the same mistakes, yes. What I always tell them is this. We are at me. We are taking baby steps. We have just come out from the crawling stage. We are now beginning to walk. Now, we are trying to now actually get our act together. Firstly, is to get the experience to speak to people like you all. And also, people like you who have friends, we want you all to spread the message. Now, once we have done all this, the next step, they are going to Kuala Chungano, is it? The next step? Kota Baru. Kota Baru and Kuantan. And Kuantan. Now, they are going to the Hartman. We must go through this baby steps place. We have to. There is no choice. We cannot go straight away into the heartland and try and work our way out. This is. Please accept our apologies for not being able to go so fast. This is what we are going through. The first steps. Thank you. So let, let me share with you. Uh, we do have we do have plans. We do have plans uh, to reach out to a wider audience, uh, a more diverse audience than this. You will understand if I said that it may not be prudent to make public announcements of those plans at this stage. But I, I wanted to go back to this. I want to go back to this point that I was trying to make just now that. Um, it, it's not the job of the core group from 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 KL. It's it's a collective effort, right? I I, I would have I would have I would have it, it would have been very gratifying if you had said, how do we? That's you and I, all right. And and I'm, I'm most very grateful for your candor when you say that you know um, uh, maybe the community is so polarized already. But if you recognize that then you might want to go back and think about whether you, you ought not then to be trying yourself, to start with yourself, to break down that polarization. It, it has to start with us first. 